Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Manafin for your PC, and this is a multi-console emulator, and by the time we're done with this video, you'll be able to play all the consoles it's able to emulate. So the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down to the description of the video and click on those three links down there. The first link brings us to the Manafin website, and here we're going to download the emulator itself. If you have a 32-bit computer, download the 32-bit version. If you have a 64-bit computer, download the 64-bit version. And after you grab that, you're going to head over to the Mediafire website and click download, and we'll grab the BIOS files. And then if you do not have Notepad++ already installed on your computer, you can go ahead and download this. After you download it, pause the video and install it. We will need this for later on. So now that we have all the files we need, all we have to do is right click on our desktop and make a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave mine named new folder. And then we're going to open up the Midnafin download that contains the emulator. And we're going to highlight all the content in there and drag it into our new folder. Then you're going to open up the second file with BIOS in the title, go in the folder inside there, highlight everything, and click and drag it into our new folder. After we do that, we're going to find the Midnafin EXE in our new folder, and we're going to double click it. It'll give us an error message, and that's okay, and it'll populate a whole bunch of new files. Now what we have to do is edit the midnafin.cfg file, which is a config file for the emulator. So what you can do is right click it, go to edit with notepad++, and once you're in there, click on search, it's at the top, and then find. So what we're going to do is search for some terms. In the description of the video is all the terms in the order that I'm going to search them, so feel free to copy and paste them in. It'll make everything a lot easier. So copy the first term, paste it in, click find next, and right here where there's a zero, you're going to change this to a one. Then you're going to copy the second term, paste it in, find next, and where it says gamepad, you're going to type in 3D PAD. Then copy the next, paste it in and press find. And where it says gamepad, you're going to type in DualShock. All one word. And then copy the last one. Paste it in and search. And you're going to change this from 1.00 to 1.25. And then you can hit save or you can hit save under file and exit out. So the last thing we have to do is load up a game and set up our controllers. This emulator is very particular about the file type it takes for ROMs. For example, if you're playing PlayStation or Sega Saturn, if you have a bin file, you need to load it with the Q file. It will not accept the bin alone. You have to load it through a Q file. So if you get some kind of error message when you're trying to load your game, just look up what types of ROMs are compatible with the console you're trying to emulate. And to load a ROM, all we have to do is click and drag the ROM file we want to play over the Midnafin EXE and drop it right on top. Sometimes it takes a second to load, so don't be worried if it does. And once you're in, we, all we have to do now is assign our controls. And we do that by holding Alt, Shift, and 1. Once again, that's Alt, Shift, and 1. And it'll bring up a prompt on the bottom of our screen so we can assign our keyboard or our controller to the controls of the console that we're emulating. And you'll have to hit each prompt twice. For example, you have to hit your D-pad up and up one more time, down and down one more time, et cetera, et cetera. It will prompt you to assign turbo buttons. And if you don't want to use turbo buttons, just assign them to a key on your keyboard that you're not going to use. If you're playing PlayStation or Sega Saturn, the last button prompt will be mode and analog for PlayStation. I usually assign it to spacebar, and what this does is if you're playing a PlayStation game and your analog sticks aren't working, you can hit the spacebar and it will enable your joysticks so you can use them. Same goes for Sega Saturn, certain games take a special controller with an analog stick and by toggling mode on, you will be setting it so you're using the analog stick controller. You should now be able to emulate all 16 of the consoles, all you gotta do is set up the controls and you know how to do that. So now you're all set up and ready to play. I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I really appreciate it. And if you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And check out some of my other stuff. I have a whole bunch of videos on emulation you might find helpful as well. So until next time, you guys have a good one.